This is Word Chapter 1, Project A, and this is the second video. First video ended at the top of page 132. We are going to start with Objective 3 near the top of page 132. And um, it says to press the down arrow one time. We just did a control home, I think, to move to the top of our document. And press the down arrow once to move to the blank paragraph below the title that would be right here and press enter four times to create some additional space one two three four and uh, do control end to go to the end of the document and um, you see you've got an extra paragraph mark here just delete that by hitting the delete key that will delete what's to the right and there we go now I want to uh, go to the Insert tab and go to Illustrations, and I want to insert a shape. So let's go to Insert and Illustrations, and I want to insert a shape here. And the shape that I want to insert is a rounded rectangle, which is this one right here. And then just go in here and click. It doesn't matter, really. Whether you click and drag, it'll still put in a box there for you. And... Um, now we are on number six at the bottom of page 132. Uh, click the layout options button which always comes up when you do something like this and click on see more down here at the bottom and then go to the layout dialog box and under on the position tab under horizontal um, I want that centered and um, relative to the page. It'll be right in the middle of the page. And then under vertical, click the absolute position box and set it to 1. And make sure that it says below paragraph and click on OK. And on the format tab, um, Click in the box here, and we want to go to the Format tab, and I want the height to be 1.5. And I want the width of this box to be 4.5, and hit Enter. And now I've got a box that's centered, and it is 1.5 inches tall and 4.5 inches wide. And I want to compare my screen and uh, save my document. Okay, now we're on activity 1.12. I want to select the rectangle shape and just click on it and I can start typing in it automatically in here too. Set up and interview. Apply online. And I didn't hit spacebar hard enough. Okay. Apply online at and then www.sturgeonpointproductions.com and let's do a control A to select all the text that's in there and then what I want to do is I want to make it bold and size 16 so let's go to our home tab here make it bold and make it size 16 And the text should still be selected on the mini toolbar. Click the font color button and we want black one. They say go to the mini toolbar, but my mini toolbar has disappeared, so I'm just going to go up here and set it to black one. And um, click outside. Click the border of the shape to select the shape. Okay, so right there, see the handles, but it doesn't select the text inside. On the Format tab, in the Shape Styles group, which is right over here, click Shape Fill. That's this button right here. 
And in the sixth column, click the fourth color. Okay, one, two, three, four. So that's the color I want for background for that. And we want to do a shape outline next. Make sure the whole thing is selected. Go to shape outline. And I want orange accent too, which is a little bit darker than everything else. And so I'll get a little dark border around. We also want to insert a text box. Uh, do control home to go to the top of the document. And um, I want to draw a text box. So that's going to be insert and um, text box is right here. And what I want to do on this is um, just say that I want to draw. And then I want to go in here and um, aligned with the left margin approximately one inch on the vertical ruler and down to the right to create a box that's approximately one half inches high and four inches wide. Okay, so down. Want to be one and a half inches high and about four inches wide. So that's pretty close. Okay, we've got a text box and they call them text boxes because you put text in them. So cursor is inside the text box here. You don't have to do anything special. It just goes there by default when you create it. And we're going to type interviews. And I hit the A key hard enough there. And in the career. Conference room. Yeah, I need to capitalize the R on room. So let's fix that. Okay. Now I think I'm good. Okay, save your document. Point to the text border to display the forehead arrow, and that's how you select the whole text box. And now I want to do some options here, so see more. And I want uh, under horizontal alignment. Uh, to the right, I want centered relative to the page. Okay. And then under vertical, click on absolute position. And I want the absolute position to be 1.25 to the right of the margin. I'm sorry, below the margin. Okay, and we can click on, okay, I think, let me see, margin in the layout dialog box, oh, one more thing, click the size tab, and under height, I want 1.25. So absolute. And under width, I want 4. And then we can click on OK. Okay, we're going to click in the text box, do a Control A to select all of it. And I want to right click over the selected text and I get the menu toolbar to pop up. And um, I want to change the font size to 16 and make it bold and centered. So uh, let's go here and uh, font size is 16. I could uh, the other shortcut toolbar. And uh, I want it to be bold and I want it to be centered. So that's what it should look like now. Um, on the ribbon under drawing tools, click the format tab in the shape styles group. So format. Uh, in the shape styles group, I want to click. Uh, the more button in the first row click the third style which is colored outline orange accent to so do that and that's what I get
And now on the Format tab in the Shape Styles group, which is also here, click Shape Effects, which is this. And then what I want is Shadow and Outer, First Row, First Effect. So let's do Shadow, Outer, First Row, First Effect. Okay. And save your document. Now we're flipping over to page 136, and I want to go to the Insert tab and insert a header and a footer. Choose a footer, and go down here. There's a couple ways to do it. I think the easy way is just click on this very first one here, and it gives you some junk here, which you always want to get rid of. That's just a template for you to type over. So I'm going to hit the Delete key, and I want to call this file. Um, I want to put the name of the file down here, rather. And so let's go to our insert group and go to document info and let's go to file name and it'll put the file name in there for me. Um, we're going to skip activity 1.16 and we're going to do a print preview now. So if you go to your file tab and do print, print automatically brings up a print preview for you so you can look at it before you actually put it on a piece of paper. And there's our preview. Now mine does look a little bit different. I'm not sure. Um, I think I followed the instructions correctly, but this box is too low. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to move that box up a little bit, uh, even though I think I followed all the instructions right. Okay. And um, now let's go and do a file print. We've got all these options here. For printing, uh, you know, the main ones obviously are select your printer and then click on the print button and you can determine how many copies you want. Then we got a few other things down here that uh, people do fairly often related to doing a print preview. Okay, so doing our print preview now and um, it says we can zoom in over here so you can see stuff better. And um, you can also hold the control key down and push. That doesn't work in here, but in most applications it does. Um, we're going to go to skip to step number seven. They want to know if we want to publish this as a PDF or XPS file. And uh, I'm not going to have you do that. I'm just going to have you publish them as regular Word documents. But let's back off of this here. And. They give us an option here to save it as a PDF file. So let's go to File and do Save As. And uh, actually, we have to do Export for that one. It's not a regular save thing. Export PDF. Click on Create. And it gives us a new copy of the file, but it's got PDF on the end. Go ahead and publish that. Make sure you're in CSCI 100 and you're in your desktop and so on. And then click on. And save your document. And that's the end of.